So right now we have a 2006 Honda Odyssey. So what we're going to do is we need to remove the head on both front and rear bank because pretty much the valves are going to be bent. So let's start with it. So right now we're um, customer already start taking the power steering pump out and we're going to start removing the intake manifold. Timing belt is gone. We're going to have to remove the right side engine mount. from the intake I'm sorry we're gonna remove the throttle body separate the throttle body with the intake manifold and leave the throttle body in the car So instead of removing the ignition coil from the connector, we're just going to take off the ignition coil with the connector. That side, do it on the other side. Probably didn't see it that bad. So this is pretty much the lock right here at the bottom. Pull it. Can you see it? Pull it like that and then push down. Same thing with the other one. Push. There you go. So it's this one right here. There's a little locking tab at the bottom. You push it in. This one right here. Push it in. Mm -hmm. And then once while you're pushing it in with your finger, then you push down. Slide out. We have plug the connector. Connectors out, and then you pull out the uh, coils with the connector still connected in there. And it's coming off. At this point, we're about to remove the uh, alternator. This connector right here. Pull this cover out. You need to use a swivel to remove the 12 millimeter bolts for the alternator. It's old. Plus, it's still under warranty because it has a lifetime warranty. You could replace the alternator anytime. Technically, you're supposed to replace, remove the battery, but since this car has a battery disconnect, Show it here. It's already disconnected. So once it's connected, okay, then we have negative. But right now it's already disconnected. So this tab, this part right here, that's the locking tab for the connector. So just squish it down like that and then pull. Push. 
then pull so a squish and then pull so that's the locking tab right there and then we remove this bolt take the bolt off and your front harness starts to come off now going this way Technically, you're supposed to remove this bolt, but looks like it's been broken already. So, you don't need to take that off. We remove the knock sensor connector. Pull it off, and then let's start going with the uh, injector connector. So, the car is barely brittle. Everything is just starts to break apart. So, what's this? And I'm afraid to take the unplug. Let's try to put some oil in there. Let's see if it would break loose. <laughs> no. No, nah, they break. The connector is very brittle. Hear that? Crack, crack. Skills lock. So that way you can unplug it without cracking it. Just gonna find out to see if we can find the connector. Man, we're gonna do the back. Huh, some of this is already broken. This one is. This one is already broken. This one, and this one's already broken too. That's weird. Then remove that ground cable. Remove the PCM and the connector, and then throw the connector to the side. Yeah, pull the locking tub up. And then slide it this way. This the locking tab right here too for that connector. You see it? There we go. Remove the clip. So this one right here. Timing belt. Next bolt. Next bolt. And the bolt, and the third bolt is right here, all the way at the very back. And you'll be able to see it, but this don't, this one right there. Zoom it in. There you go. That one right there. Technically, four bolts for the computer. Show the computer.
back a little bit. to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts right here and then there's one over here at the back. There's one. There's one. And then we need to remove the connector for the crank pulley for the crankshaft position sensor. So we're gonna go on the side. If you, um, I don't know if you can see it. This uh, go for this way. This connector right here. Nothing yet. Can't see it, huh? Should I take out my phone, Paul? Let me take it out real quick and I'll show you how I remove it. Because I could remove it without, my, without looking at it. So right here. Same thing. There's a locking tab right here at the bottom. You push it, push it down. And then you push, to pull the whole assembly down. So push down and pull it down like that. And of course the connector right here. Push it, push it that way, and then separate the two connectors. There you go. Here you go. And let me see. Is it recording? Take it down a little bit. So there's a At this right, at this location right here, that's where the oil pressure switch is. Let's see if I could pull it out. There you go. Let me turn it. So this is the oil pressure switch. I pull the boot up. I pull the boot up earlier, and then I stick this angle pliers right here in between, and then pull it up against the switch. Did you see it? Huh? Did you get it? I'm not sure. So, you put the flyers right in between the switch and the connector and then pull it up like this way. That's how you get it out. Oh. Let's see it now. Before we move the whole harness to the side, we're going to start taking this whole piece apart right here. So we're going to push this um, coolant piping to the side. Same thing. This has to come off. This has to come off. Pretty much same thing on this thing. There's a lock at the bottom. So same thing. What I did is I pushed this locking tab up and then slide it out. It's it goes right here. So when you put it back in, it's gonna go like that and slide in. So stick it at the bottom. Go to back. Go back. Stick it at the bottom, push it up, and slide out. Mm. We're not gonna remove this. We're just gonna unbolt it from here. Don't fight that thing. <laughs> because you broke it, Pa. 
but still that's still a secured lock this one is easy so just this one just push in first and then press the two tab at the bottom and then at the top at the same time and then slowly pull them out careful it's gonna squirt some fuel out uh, mm. out and you could slowly pull that thing out now uh, there's none so we're gonna have to remove this bolt one two three the bottom of it you're not you're not gonna see it just look up so this one two three four go here go here go here five and then there's six all right let's start one it won't fit the only thing that would fit on that is the quarter inch 12 millimeter so we're gonna pass on that for now I need to go get that from work and this Go zoom out, zoom out, go out. Yeah. <coughs> oh no! Huh? I dropped my socket. Haha, <laughs> so I'm using my two finger like this. So you go tap. Stick it in. Push it down. Click, click, click. Got him. So we build this one 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter short and then an extension which is inch and a half extension. Stick it in there. Did it fit? Uh huh. Yeah. It gave in. Listen up. Oh. 
bolts out. I'm gonna be frying on this right here and over here. Go over here. Can they see where I'm frying it? Mm -hmm. out it's out now we just need to go past this studs so we're gonna be prying out more a little bit more go up a little move move that harness going to that side we need to remove this bolt this is for the mounting of the harness it's a 10 millimeter bolt and then there's two 12 millimeter for it here this one and this one right there One long bolt and one short bolt. Twelve, both are 12 millimeter. Now we can move this harness back. That means we can also move this whole assembly back. All we just need is just a room to slip it off those studs. That's all the room that we need. Just to have room to get the cylinder head out. Push the whole harness do that way. Good job, huh? This stuff right here. There you go. Now we have a whole bunch of room to work on the head. So we're gonna have to start removing the because this intake manifold is gonna come out with the head. This is just a magic piece, but if you could see they, they are actually separated right here. So you don't need to remove the intake plenum. Just have to take this gasket off to separate those two. That's it for today's video. It's gonna be the part one of the teardown.